New Zealand and Highlanders scrum half Aaron Smith is one of the finest nines in the world and we're going to have a look at the details behind every component of his game. We'll start with the box kick and his defensive organisation, quickly followed by his attack in play and the jewel in his crown, his pass. The box kick is an essential component of any elite scrum halves game and Aaron Smith is able to tick that box with distinction. It's impressive how much power he gets from his kick, taking his team from inside their own 22 up to the halfway line. A key component of the skill is organising his forwards on the right hand side to create protection for his kicking leg. Notice his plant leg is close to the ruck and in line with the ball and his kicking leg is outstretched. That gives him space to step away from the ruck and away from the threats. He keeps his eyes focused on the ball and his right hand in contact with it as long as possible to control the flight down to his foot. It's important to keep this bend in the knee initially, driving through with the upper leg and then snapping the lower leg through and that's where the power comes from. With the kick going long to pressurise wheels, Smith's job now is to organise the defensive line. Unlike many scrum halves, Aaron Smith spends a lot of his time in a guard, allowing the rest of his players to push out and create better width in the defensive line. As soon as the ball moves, he drops into the sweeper position in case it breaks in the line or kicks through, then immediately pushes back up to ruck as soon as the tackle is made. He marshals the forwards around the ruck area, ensuring they don't get drawn in and indeed keep numbers up on feet to allow this kind of line speed. When things do go wrong, however, he's immediately able to react in his sweeper position and push across, desperate to make a tackle to stop the attack. Here against South Africa, you can see he's organising his forwards to create a perfect picture to make sure he gets a stable base to kick off. He'll aim for that magical 22 to 25 metre target that'll give his own chasers enough time to get under the ball and contest possession. The kick is weighted perfectly, enabling George Bridge to get past the blockers and get a hand to the ball. I love how quickly Smith is able to spot the space out wide and gives a wonderful 20 metre flat pass to Moanga. The moment the ball leaves his hands, he's immediately anticipating the space in front, thinking about a line break. He cuts a cheat line, allows him to link up with Sebu Reese perfectly. This quick pass inside the surveyor shows incredible awareness to evade the clutches of Khaleesi and keep the phase flowing. As the first man to arrive, he hits the ruck at a slight angle and nice and low, clearing the threat. A quick ball allows Crotty Moanga to put Barrett into acres of space, who is now able to take the gap in front and put George Bridge in to score. The jewel in the crown is the pass. Let's have a look at the details. The first step to a good pass is reading the play and the approach. Notice he takes his J line in towards the ball and lets the forwards clear the threat in front before he gets in to play the ball away. Once the ball has left his hand, he's then looking at the space in front and reading the potential angle of a line break. This can lead to overrunning the ball and being a front to play, which means he now will retreat, take his J-line, allow the threat to pass in front, scan the space before then playing the ball away. Stage 2 is the setup, which provides a platform for the pass. On arrival, the right foot goes next to the ball nice and close, left leg then is spread out to give a stable base. Notice left leg has got the foot at 45 degrees and the right leg is bent in that crouch position to aid the power of the pass. Once that stable base has been set, stage 3 is about hand placement and lift. The ball is lifted off the ground to take it away from threats on the floor and to make sure it travels in a straight line from hands to target. Notice the right elbow is slightly kicked out with the wrist fully flexed around the ball. The left elbow is tucked in with the wrist making an L shape in a fully extended position. This is where Adam Smith gets the predominance of his power from. During the release, the head and shoulders are kept down over the ball and the passing arm drives forwards to the midline of the body, keeping contact with the ball as long as possible. The lead arm pushes away forcefully with the thumb and that causes the ball to get a nice zip through the air and the nose of it to be upright, making it easier to catch. Even when he has to adjust and get around players on the ground, notice how consistent the start point is, follows through with both hands up to the pass. Indeed, when we see the pass up a line out, we're seeing the same pattern emerging. Even though the lower body is slightly different, we've got the elbow kicked out, inside elbow tucked, and then zips that back wrist through after the ball, pushing the inside thumb away forcefully, a lovely pass into space. Let's take a quick look at the left hand where there's a few minor changes to the technique. First of all, the setup is slightly wider. Notice the lead leg is more direct towards where the passing point is. Once into passing position, you notice the wrist position is exactly the same as the right hand, but the follow through is very different, with the passing arm crossing the lead arm during the passing action. Notice the nose of the ball is still upright and as zippy as it was before, but we're seeing this of lifts off the ground and indeed of pass off the line out. A consistent theme, however, highly successful regardless. And knitting all that together is his wonderful ability to read the game and organise players around him to execute any opportunities that he sees. Notice now he's marshalling his backs and his forwards around the corner because he's seen an opportunity. 
Like the best snooker player is, he's calling a couple of shots ahead, getting his forwards into position after a couple of short moves, and is now ready to pull the trigger and run a run play. He's got wonderful footwork and scanning skills, and this is perfect play for him to get the ball out into space. Now that New Zealand have hit the edge, his focus now will be on hitting his forwards on the gain line, making sure that they don't take too much depth onto the ball and they continue to plug their way forwards. The focus now is on playing the ball around the corner towards the post. This forces Ireland backwards and indeed makes them fold it on the corner, and that's where the indecision comes in defence. He's quick to get the ball in, doesn't want to let the Irish defence set, and as soon as an opportunity comes, because of that scanning, he's able to pick up and take it for a wonderful score. Just note his body language as he approaches the ruck. Body says right, space says left, lovely score from a wonderful player.